Ooh. Sorry for the matchup. Uh, I gotta put some music on. Someone says sorry. Nathan says sorry for the matchup, but we have a pretty good. I mean, we don't have like a turn one. Back to grinding with this deck. I think I'm imagining Omni. Oops. They're playing Oops. Nathan's playing Oops. I know it. What am I going to do for music? Chat, what do you want for music? Oh, Big Red? I don't care about Big Red. What is this? Sorry for the matchup, as in, like, sorry for a not real matchup? Is that what they mean? Um, <laughs> giants. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I forget where I heard, but I heard about it somewhere. I just, I was worried about like a bad bench up for me or something. Um, okay. So we're definitely songing. <clears throat> I think we're actually going Bergy into double act, right? Two, four, six. That's the six. That's better than horn. So if we horned, we'd have two floating and we'd flip six, but we wouldn't have a Berkey in play, which is quite relevant. Hmm. What the hell? Am I dead? Nathan says, Nope. Probably next turn, though. Because the target is filled from control, choose one. Three damage to each opponent. Exit the top two good. Choose one of them until you play that card. Okay. So it hits for a six. Oh, he's exiled. Pitch the song, we will get nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> okay, then. I guess we'll. Actually, we probably didn't want that in our yard, if I'm being honest. But it allows us to play this, which also doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. What are you? Trample haste. Trample haste for three? What? It was kicked. It gets a plus one, plus one. Okay. That makes 
Alright. <clears throat> so the trample... We can block three, so two. Three and six, that's eight. I don't think we should play Jessica. It's it's either one extra card now, but that puts us dead next turn. We can flip this. I'm gonna flip it. We also uh, we would have the Bergy mana. <sighs> I'm gonna flip it. Damn, man. <laughs> so now we got a block with Bergy. And we can't cast Tap our Ancient Tomb. no way to <clears throat> there's no way to stop any more than three damage here we can deal two to us oh I think we just actually lose to that <clears throat> yep he got us we still would have whiffed if, uh, darn. So, I mean, this is a good matchup for us. I rarely lose to Big Red. That was quite unlucky. It was very unlucky that we whiffed on the double act, and then also unlucky that we didn't get there uh, with the horn. So we don't need the grids, which means we probably want to just play Chandra. It sucks that guy's a 3-4. <clears throat> we can bring in the Ignite. That looks good. So, this makes a lot of mana. I don't think this is good enough. Mm. This is also quite risky. God, this hand would be so good if it had a soul land. Oh, Mulligan. Okay. This is, this is a lot better. I think we just bought on the pedals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven cards. Nathan has a risky ish hand. Probably just an aggressive hand, I'm guessing. Okay. So we want to bottom pedals, right? Because we go mountain, red flame, we play a ruby. The next turn, we don't have enough mana. <laughs> Does that mean good bottom will? Then we go mountain, ruby flame. I mean, right of flame, ruby flame. We could even go like mountain, right of flame, pedal, play a bergy. <laughs> And then keep. No. Uh, and then hope to draw into action. Bottom the. Play Bergy. No, then we're hoping to draw mana for Ruby and action. Uh, 
This kind of sucks, huh? For mold of five to be, you could we can have pretty good mold mold of fives, but it requires uh, soul land, basically. Not basically, actually. You know, like soul land petal, Jessica's will, boom. Soul land petal, Jessica's will, burning wish LED is a turn one pier. Five card. Let me guess, they got like no mana, but they do have a chalice on zero. Ooh. Okay. Soul land? Okay. Boo! Classic. Uh oh, oh, yeah. Well, if we can draw soul land, this is fine. We do have six of them in our deck. Come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh oh, this is a threat. Okay. Come on. There it is. All right. Let's play a Berkey here. I'm going to block. And then just play my other Bergy. Uh oh. That one's big. Okay. So Morpho Morphos is like quote unquote free. At least try to get a land off of it before we ignite. Ooh, that was good. So we have six, ignite. Okay, great. So we can still play this other ignite and the Jessica's will. really looking for burning wish oh, no, I'm sorry we can't play the Jessica's will I don't know why I thought we could so you can't really play any of these literally the right of flame will hmm 
not help. None of these cards help. <clears throat> we were really looking for Burning Wish. Okay, now I have the Burning Wish, so it still costs three, so then we still have three, so we can kill these, and then we can play all this mana, and we can just go off. Okay, good. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. <clears throat> so, we do have to... Spend it all here. I mean, I guess we might as well. While we're at it. So this one's hitting Chalice. This one can hit Trinosphere and Chrome Box. We win. Hmm. Well, let's play this. Okay. This is free. Flip a Rooney. This is free. This is free. I like free. And opponent is dead. All right, what do you all want for uh, music? I got um, YouTube Premium or whatever, so we don't have to worry about ads anymore. We draw land, it's good, but uh, no red source. They mulligan to five. That's good news. Two burning wish and two rubies. Maybe they'll blood moon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. So ancient tomb. We're probably going to get chaliced is the problem. At the very least, we'll get to play Ruby. And then we should probably keep our main piece of action and mana. I think we bought him these. Hopefully... No turn one turn sphere or chalice on zero. Mountain pass. Okay, chalice on zero. So 
So we pretty much have to hit mountain. I don't think I want to take the two. I think I'll just wait. Right? I'm just going to wait. I mean, sure, if we draw a mountain this very turn, I might be unhappy. Gonna get abraded? Maybe you shouldn't even played it, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Classic, classic game here. They name Horn. If we draw a mountain, we are good. You know? You know? Oh, I'm thinking to play a threat here. Here it comes. Comes the big boy. There he is. Come on. Yes. Okay, so... Flashback, what's happening? Not much. We're playing Nathan. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we can make a red. Then we can Seething Song. Then we'll have six, and we will. If only we had a Metamorphose. And we could Echo. But yeah, that's the game plan. Um, I trophied last night, and then I slept in. I slept through the <laughs> the prelim this morning. All right, we want to hit a burning wish. So I don't want to throw away this LED just yet. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, we got him. Oh, this is this is perfect. Oh, it's not perfect. We'd need one more mana for it to be perfect, because our horn is is currently uh, offline. Huh. 
All right, so we have a Ruby, Morphos. What's cool is the Spree is shuffled into our deck right now. We are hoping to run into it so we can play this horn and win. I guess I don't particularly need this blue right now. Our zeros are back on. Um, yeah, I'll cast the will first. All right, not bad. So we got plenty of mana for this will. I think we pretty much got there at this point. It's <laughs> a lot of braggies. Oh, we don't need to make, I, mean, I guess one other blue could be helpful. We have black through LED. There's another ignite. Find Burning Wish or Wow. Sorry, we have two ignites in our yard. Alright, Burning Wish. Oh wait, Burning Wish just kills him. Doi. Doi. We got him. Okay, so this is huh. this is make a bunch of mana and cast one Jessica's will. I do not like hands like this. I do like that it has two mana, uh, two permanent mana sources. Like we could go one, two, three, four, five, six will with three floating. Uh, <laughs> no. This I like. I don't love it, but I like it. Probably bought him an ancient tomb. Uh, metal's too much for you? Wait, what can't you see? I uh, should probably look and make sure, like. So yeah, here's the play map. Hold on, it's delayed for me. What was I doing? This? Yeah, you can hardly see it. Yeah, that's that sweet ass play map. And all my dice. Big ass dice for the webcam. Just wanna see what it looks like here. Yeah. Can't, so those ones are red. These are like blue and black dye. Just a casual burn player, yeah. Alright, back to the match here. I just ordered it online. I forget where. Increase the movement to adding Mac Rite of Flame. Um, that's part of it. Um, the six soul lands really helps. Um, no, not running an answer to um, Deafening Silence and having more open slots in our board really helps. The Ignite in the board is awesome because now we have a wish. Uh, quote unquote draw seven obviously it's a draw six when we have infinite mana uh and a burning wish in the face of without enough storm and not much in our yard to flash back with with piff in the face of a like narset leovold you know that effect hellbreacher 
<clears throat> which is actually quite relevant. When that card hits the table, it's like, fuck, even if we go off, unless we chain it all within our deck and then cast Grape Shot, like, we don't have access to our draw sevens. And now we do. Um, so... We're going to will up. Opponent's going to let it happen. We're going to will up, and the opponent is going to let it happen. Now, the question is, do we put it on the act on impulse, or do we get horny? Yeah, it's the way to go. I it might be one. It's definitely at least one. And not you know put it in place of an ancient tomb like five soul lands at least. I've been running six for a while. And I haven't like occasionally you wind up with no red no red sources. But adding one mountain doesn't help those numbers all that much. Um, it's more so you, you want the higher density of soul lands to pair with your various other ways to make a red source on top of the soul land to have our busted starts. Plus when you're flipping with, with horn and stuff, sometimes you need that two mana but you can't afford to cast the ancient tomb and you're searching for a city. Alright, so what do we do here? You go horn, horn pass, horn flip. Bergy Act. I think I'm going to Bergy Act. Bergy 4, 3. So we'd have 2 and we'd also have the Rite of Flame sitting here. I think I'm going to Bergy. That does not do it. If only it was an Ignite, huh? If only we had one more blue. Metamorphose here would be freaking amazing. Well, it's worth noting that wouldn't have been all the, that great for a horn either. Um, but yeah, Rite of Flame helps. Um, the Chandras really help. So like having Chandra's in the main like I did for for that the meme uh, I don't think is the greatest um, so then Bryant kind of had me like off of it but I think it has its place right in the sideboard it really really helps our blue matchups and blue is obviously the most frequent matchup um, I finally feel as though I have a positive matchup with blue before it was like we had to either get lucky or outplay them or, you know, it wasn't terrible. Sometimes we just got there as well. But I don't, I think it was like 50, maybe slightly above, possibly slightly below. Now I feel favored. Yeah, I bought them for, I'd have to go back and look. I want to say they were close to like 300 or something. One of them's in really good shape. The other one is... It's good, minus like a little scratch or whatever you want to call it on the front. Um, so what do they do? They didn't shuffle, so... I guess in before Hull Breacher, right? <laughs> Counterbalance? Ew. Alright, so I'm playing against the Just Guy pile here.
What do you got? Chisels and not tears, okay. Yeah, I guess I play it. What's up, Fox? Two times in two months. Spiked again. Oh. Yeah. And ponder on top. Okay. This is like previously my kind of deck. I'm sure they'll just bounce it and try to counter it the next time it comes down. What's nice is if we draw like Ignite. They really don't have many ways to hit it with counterbalance. They'll probably, I mean, very low chance to win this game one here. But yeah, webcam match tonight. I think I'm going to stream it. Seven o'clock, seven p.m. Eastern Time. ELD's Time Vault. It's drawn between like 20 and 30 people. So I've been told. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to play that sort of stuff. Wow, at least they had to blow a force of negation, which is really good for us. They probably have another Mystic Sanctuary, but at least they're using it here instead of for the counterbalance. Mm hmm. So it does kind of suck that they have that. They're just going to the fucking moon with this thing. Holy shit. I know. I, I almost want to scoop it up and just get him with the Chandra. Okay. You want to use up that force negation? I'm hoping they have to and we hit an Ignite at some point. <clears throat> Oh, they're going to put Force of Will on top, aren't they? That's funny. Yep. If they wind up, like, slamming a JSL scoop, But if we draw into a couple of Ignites, we could have a shot. No shuffle. Yeah, I'm all set. That's too much. Alright, we want our grid. Grape shot and get them Chandras in here. I am excited for uh, Rowan.
coming out of Strixhaven. I will be heavily testing that card. I my guess is that it'll it'll wind up being a two of for uh, cost reducers nine and ten. It will certainly replace the act on impulse. I'm not 100% on the other slot. Maybe, maybe actually going down to three metamorphos. I'm not sure. the turn one thing it has some mana it's thin though it's a very thin hand but it's like I would keep a five that looked something like this but I think I'm gonna look for a better six this is too risky this is one land away from going for it. Alright, this is better. Right. It's another cost reducer. <clears throat> it's another cost reducer. It is a little more fragile. Um, but what I like is that it adds another layer, like it reduces our echo, it reduces our peer, um, it is a win con, uh, when we're virtually infinite on mana, it draws two cards on the flip side, um, you can play the both of them, so you can start layering all sorts of effects. I think it's better than Act on Impulse. So I think we go like this. Two, three. Yeah. Maybe we should have just kept the mountain over now, because it doesn't really work with this city. Well, it kind of does. I don't know. If we draw on the Rite of Flame, then Rite of Flame is better than Mountain. Excuse me. My guess is they'll deal with the Bergy, and then hopefully we get enough mana for the Chandra. That's kind of the plan here. Drawing another Bergy wasn't bad. Damn, they were just F6. So if we draw any mana here... Any mountain, uh, even a chrome mox, uh, we can Chandra because they're not going to counter a mana piece, you know. Especially with this when we're this low on cards, that's one of the strengths of Chandra. It's like when your opponent is casting rituals and they have like two, three cards in hand, obviously, you don't counter the rituals, that's obnoxious. I do like that at the very least this adds mana. Chooses to not, okay. They have a two on top maybe? They might choose not to again. Oh hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Might as well make blue here. So can we, we have two, four, six, seven. If we use 
five, we go to three. Okay, no. So we're just gonna Chandra. And then they're probably gonna scoot. Oops. Oopsies. Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Yeah, just... If you search me on Google, you can see all my... My past lists there. Um, yeah, we're not playing anything else. Just search Tony Scaponi on Google. I used to play with some some uh, eight AK meme decks with Mox Diamond and um, Aria Flame for the funsies. Draw all of the cards, all of them. Eight AK, eight of them. Accumulated knowledge and frantic inventory. They'd surgical my AK, and I'd be like, "Ha ha! Jokes on you! I run eight. <laughs> Oh no! <clears throat> yeah, and with Rowan, sure, it, like it doesn't reduce Bergy, it doesn't reduce Horn. Um, I think that's it. The rest of them are instants and sorceries. It isn't bad. Here, have another one. Did you like the previous? Uh, do we run out another Bergy? I think we just play Grid. <clears throat> and now what? You have to force that <laughs> and deal with Chandra? OP is screwed. Um, but yeah, I, I've had the most success is with uh, my blue red Delver list. I top aided a challenge. Uh, actually, I top aided. What was it? Four out of six challenges. I top aided like two or three in a row, and there was one in between. Um, actually, two of them was with a Jeskai Delver list, but I tend to to play Delver a little bit differently, a little more mid range. I play it with AKs. I play it with uh, a couple of Stifles, usually two. Aria Flame in the sideboard. Yes, it is. It's not just Metamorphose though. When we, it's the the backside is for when we have virtually infinite mana uh, and no action. It's it's nice to have something that can draw two cards. And oftentimes in that scenario, we have a horn. Uh, in which case, drawing two means we're flipping four, which means we're looking at six. So it's probably going to get us there. Uh, for blue, we have petal. We have LED. We have Metamorphose. Um, not for nothing, we do have Eyelet. Like, we have ways to make blue. We would not be going blue-red if we were playing that card. And that's the secondary reason to play the card. The primary is uh, for additional cost reducers uh, at the cost of three, just like Fergie. I'd say my, my least favorite thing about it is that it dies to a flip Delver. So if you're not on the play, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, Alright, so we'll keep it like this. Um, yep. Yeah, that's... Is that the one that I top aided the challenge with? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the Mystic Sanctuary. It's it's very 
thin and light on threats, um, but it has a ton of interaction and play. And I found AK to be a pseudo threat, so that was like threats 12 through 15. Uh, this hand is great. I wish it had a Chandra, but other than that, it's pretty good. Question is, do I play Mountain first, or do I just go for the grid? Probably just go for the grid. And then possibly not even make a land drop the next turn. Yeah, and sometimes you just draw the really aggressive half and get them dead. The problem is your opponent has to respect, they have to respect Stifle, they gotta respect all this stuff, or they don't know about Stifle. Sometimes it, they don't even see it game one and then get got game three. Sometimes you're casting all these AKs and stuff and then game two you just get them with Delver, Days, Force, Backup, Wasteland, dude. And Stifle has a ton of application outside of just blowing up lands. A ton. That you wouldn't think of until you play with the card a ton. Alright, we don't want Counterbalance. Disenchant, okay. Don't you worry, I got another. I got another. <clears throat> the question is, do we go grid pass, or do we play the mountain to play Seething Song and hope they don't counter it? Not a coward. Has this been, like, a coward stream? Or what? Oh my god, they're F6. They're F6? What's your personal opinion for Chain Lightning and UR Delver? Well, it depends what... What kind of blue red delver you're playing? Uh, if I'm playing, a, a, like I have a, a blue red aggro list that absolutely play chain lightning, absolutely. Uh, and if you're gonna play a more stock traditional list, it still plays some number of them. I just really hate losing the combo when I'm playing a fair blue deck. Basically, is what it comes down to. I don't. I. I like having the opportunity to be able to deal with anything, right? And that's just me. Okay, so they're F6. I don't think we go Bergy Will. We could, we'd have a ton of mana with this Will. But it's only one Will. We can go Seven, we can go Horn with two floating and six flips. So it's two mana and six cards. Or, of course, three mana and four cards. Or, how much mana is it if we Bergy? So if we Bergy, we go to two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven mana, three cards, with a grid, so six mana. Uh, seven mana, seven mana, three cards, or two to three mana, four to six cards. I like horn, okay. I'm gonna pitch the grid. Okay. Okay. So at the very least we can play this Bergy out. 
Maybe I should stop. I'm not gonna stop. Can't stop me. Okay. So now we go right of flame. I wish we could go Bergy first, but we can't. And this is the point where hopefully we just win. We did not, but we did get our cost reducer. So we've got some problematic permanents and an echo in the yard. Let's hope they don't have another disenchant. So, Bergy would have been okay. We would have wound up in a similar scenario, but no echo in the yard, which is pretty huge. If we hit an LED there, we would have just won. It is unfortunate that we had to pitch a grid. I guess we didn't have to, but we did. I want to know what they kept in their hand. They kept a disenchant and what? A disenchant and F6. I was expecting like... I don't even know. I don't know. Like even a Teferi would be like, ugh! <laughs> Green X Modern player. Hmm. Oh, okay. So you like to be able to answer everything you're saying? Are you gonna surgical me? Oh no, is this another disenchant? It is, isn't it? Oh. I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, because they port. Oh, they port tented me. Interesting. Oh! Why would they give us that? I would have put that one more down. <laughs> and we get to put it exactly where we want it. Um, yes, please. And they're F6th? Oh, and we drew an LED. Oh my god. Okay, I guess we win. Um, Alright, so we're bound to hit a land here. Don't need the chrome mox. There's a Chandra. We already have a ruby, and there's another one right there. Think we're gonna need the draw from the eyelet. They're F6, but I still kinda wanna play the grid. Eh, we'll run into one here, right? There's already a Chandra in there, so we don't need that Chandra. There's a grid. I'll hold on to this LED for now. Um, can we get away with a Bergy? Let's find out. Oops, I meant to actually Ruby first. 
They're gonna counter this Bergy, okay? It's fine with me. Um, this one? Oh, another F6, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. That's a ton of mana. Alright, let's drop this grid. It's two Burning Wish. We only have one in our yard, but we have plenty of storm here. Just go like this. And we got him. Okay. Interesting. I wish this was a soul land. Mox Diamond. That's actually... I don't mind seeing that. Now we know we can turn one them. Nice. The problem is we have to use a lot of resources to get the, uh, the horn out there. Like, we'd have to go pedal pedal song. And then we can't even go ruby first. And even if we could, then we'd have, like, no cards left. I'm just gonna play ruby. Pass. Because now, like, if we draw action, we can go Bergy into a ton of mana, double action. Um, and if we don't, we have a much better horn line available. And I don't think there's... right, there's not much that they're going to do that I'm going to care about here. Alright, so we didn't draw action. So, I think we go... So we're in a similar spot as last time here, except we have a cost reducer this time, so one mana, yeah, that's definitely better than Bergy will. Plus they have like no way of removing this, unless they're running Astrophy main. Okay, and they have four cards in their hand. So, Will is a two mana. Hmm. Actually, it kind of sucks. I think I'm actually just going to pass. Sucks. We just flip two land or a land in a grid. Because if we play the pedal and will, it's pretty bad. If we just flip, that's probably the most defensible line. If we're not gonna pass. In fact, I might. I might go for it. If we hit a right of flame. Metamorphose. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Yeah, 
So I'm gonna pass. Is they have Bajuka Bog in their hand? I'm not gonna put it all on, you know. Two looks at an LED. Now we get five looks at an LED. Or even uh, a petal does it. Or Metamorphose. Because we, we know Pachuca Bog is not in their deck, so we don't have to worry about crop rotation, which is pretty nice. Probably going to get ported here. I would imagine. I don't think they run Abrupt Decay. So they're gonna bog us. I'm not gonna pitch the echo first. is their deck is so irrelevant wait can they even they can't re recast Bajuka bug right oh they can waste they can waste it pick it up with loam and then play it so they can I don't think we need to go for it Ugh. but we're so high chance to get there worst case we'll get mana for this ignite yeah I'm just I'm gonna fucking do it all right cool You know, I've said it before that this isn't a coward stream, and then came pretty close to being a coward there. Um, didn't want to echo yet. It's cost two. at five. Uh, I'll cast this one. Still haven't even made a land drop. <laughs> All right, they can see it. You, can, you don't concede to the echo sitting there, uh, and the other echo, but you concede to it when I cast it. Maybe they didn't think of the, the horn interaction, like, oh shit, this gives them 14 cards, and they still have an echo. <laughs> this matchup is pretty good for us. Really, the only thing, the only major thing we have to worry about is they bring in a bunch of uh, sphere effects. Chandra is pretty good. Obviously, they can't, they're they capable of making a fast Merit Lage, but... Force of Vigor is a pain in the ass, but I don't think I'm going to leave in the grids for it. And obviously, like, Crop Rod and Pajuka Bog is a thing. Um... I I can bring in the Ignite. Yeah, it looks good. I'll take it. Now, this band is so good. 
You hearing this guitar? It's fucking ridiculous. Mulligans. Alright, getting boggy with it. We could go for it this turn. We go pedal, we go two, we go three, we go four. I don't think it's worth it though. We'll pass. <clears throat> Gotta keep my eye on this. No much here. Just kind of on the loan plan. I wonder if they have a force of vigor. Doesn't look like it. It's nice to know we're not going to get crop rotation because they have the bog in hand. I don't think they run mind break, mind break trap these days. Usually I just get turn one sphered in this matchup. Like, kind of suspicious at this point. But it's not gonna stop me. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Ignite, see where that takes us. Okay. I think we want to Morphos here before we make any other decisions. I think I want to do it again. This will might wind up just being a ritual. I'm gonna make one blue. Ugh. We really want to find horn at this point. But we gotta have enough mana for it. Three, two, one. Okay. So I'm gonna play this ruby. We get blown out by uh, Force of Vigor here. Well, the silver lining is that we can still play this next turn. They're gonna bog our yard. Hmm. Maybe we should've just ignited, because that ruby was good till next turn too. Their patience paid off. Yeah, bog it up. What did they pick up? So their hand is stage canopy, horizon canopy. So we know they don't have anything. 
That wasn't a bad draw. So any mana is, is fine because it's Ignite. So. I guess we do it off the city. Wow. Okay. Maybe we should have waited. You're forgetting, like, all this stuff we can play till next turn. We could have saved that Seething Song. And they can't bog us, so we could have, like, played this from the yard. And it's not the end of the world. I don't mind playing this. Okay. I wish that Echo was in her hand. Um, so we can play Petal, Morphos. Or we can wait. Oh yeah, we can just wait till next turn Echo, right? What if we just wait here? Despian Stage and Horizon Canopy. They did not loam. Okay. This is the canopy. So the library, okay. We can play it. Yeah. Alright. So first things first, I think we... If we Morphos... We can make blue-red. We don't even necessarily have to make the blue. Yeah, I'm not too worried. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so can we play Bergy and Echo? I believe so. So three would put us to two, and then Chrome Mox back up to four. But yeah, we have more than enough to do it. No, not yet. Two, four, five. Um, do we want to play the islet? We still have a land drop. We might. We might need a soul land. Wait, do, do we just have a piff line with this burning wish that's actually better better than all this? Two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Answer to that question is yes. Why isn't anybody saying piff in the chat? Come on, chat. We know their hand, so we don't have to worry about Really, anything. Um, piff it up. 
get piffed. Uh, let's see. Oops. Nope. They scooped it up. <laughs> oh, it's Nathan again. It's Nathan again! Oh, and we got it. We got the nut. Well, it's not the nut, but it's pretty good. So we go Tomb, we go Ruby. Do we go for it? That's the question. We can Morphos the two, Morphos the three. We might just be making a bunch of goblins. I think, I think we go for it here. There's so many draws that are just like good. It's there? Oh, nice. Upping that production value. All right. He's gonna be like, oh, he's passing. No, no, he is not. OP is going off. Uh-oh. I need to hit mana here. And we did. Fourteen goblins. Seems good. Got him. Let's see, what did we do last time? We just brought in action. That's one of the reasons, uh, one of the many reasons why Chandra is awesome. These matchups where Grid is a blank card we get to bring in action. And now our deck is just fucking packed with action. Another reason why Ignite is great. Is Ignite is in the board. Uh, obviously, so we have access to it with Burning Wish and to deal with like Narset effects and stuff. But in these matchups where we're really not worried about Surgical uh, or Narset, we can just bring it in, you know? Obviously, it is a negative that we don't have access to it in our board, but basically, if we're grabbing, if we have enough mana to Burning Wish and grab Ignite out of the board, we're not doing that because we're just draw seven. You know, we're casting a draw seven, or we're casting Pier, or or Pass in Flames. You know, it's it's really in the board to be able to deal with Narset effects.
um, yeah, I keep this. It's got our answer to Trinisphere. Um, we have our three mana to play through Trinisphere. We're good. The Mulligan and put a ley line in play. <laughs> They're going down to zero cards. Yeah, they played that out because of draw sevens. Oh, wow. Um. Could play our Bergy out. Like, it's. It's not even bad to do so. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't think I will, though. So they're probably just going to do this. Pass. Oh, mama. Um... Let me make sure I'm not missing like a foreign line here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can horn, pitch, echo, have one more card. Be looking for an LED on four looks. Probably not worth it. As opposed to playing Bergy, getting virtually infinite mana. I'll just stop that thought right there. Oh, we can't pitch the Echo anyways, because there's a Ley Line in play. Or we can pitch the Echo, but it would be an ill-advised line. Is this a Braid? Okay. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. I'll just make a bunch of Goblins then. Wait, can we do that? One, two, three, four, five. We're one short. Shit. Okay, I think we pass. It's either pass or get... No, I don't want to get Reforge. I don't want to draw them seven cards. I think I pass and then make a bunch of goblins next turn. One, two, three, four, five. There, one short. a particularly brutal draw. Um, oh right, the Red of Flames give us less mana. Forgot about that too. Seven, eight, so we cannot afford to ignite. Totally fine making ten goblins here. Like it's reasonable, only because Ignite is a card, but it's not very good. Look at them all.
Is it funny that I want to keep this? I think I'm going to keep it. Hopefully we're against the blue deck. Uh-oh. Okay. I mean... Oh. So I think I mountain pass. The next turn... Echo with more mana. I can echo with one floating. Right now. I don't want to tomb grid, because I don't think grid does anything here. All it does is expose our tomb. I mean... If they're gonna, like, zenith for... Teague or some shit, if they know what we're on. Um, fine. Basically. <laughs> I mean, we have a Burning Wish, so it's like, it's not game over, but... I'm thinking this is either Maverick or Elves. It looks more like Maverick. Okay. That doesn't matter. It's not gonna stop our Echo. They're gonna attack. Okay. Oh, that wasn't good. We were hoping to hit mana that we could cast. It's literally still a consideration to pass. And just like try to work up to uh, peer mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. We would need three more. Tomb, tomb would be five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I think I want a mountain pass. They just straight up cast ooze, huh? Off of another forest? Like if it's. Meh. Is there something I'm missing as to what they're playing? Like, are they just on elves and they happen to draw their ooze? Are they on Maverick and they just, for whatever reason, they're fetching both forests? Or are they on some sort of, like, Dryad deck? I don't really think I'm afraid anything, of anything, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go for it. I feel like I'm gonna get punished if I wait any longer. I go blue, then I don't get multiple red, but I do have to blow the petal. If I want red. And that leaves me open to leave the petal if I whiff. No, I think I'll just blow the petal. Hmm. I'm wishing I didn't blow the pedal. Um. I mean, next time we pretty much got him. We can't make black, however. I guess I'll morpho see if I hit mana. So close. I don't think grid does anything. I'd rather keep it in my hand. Well, I suppose there could be like a crop rotation. Whatever. I'll play the grid.
So this gives them the opportunity to play like their Teague or whatever. But we have a ton of mana, we can wish it's... If they play a Teague, we can blow it up and potentially go off. Okay, it's elves. Elves confirmed. That's a good one. Hopefully they don't have more good ones. Hey, what's up, Mike? What's happening? Are we dying? Sorry, it's a work, work call. They don't yet have the magic number being four, although they haven't made a land drop. We do lose to what's it called on on sorcery? That green and white guy. Right, but I'm talking about the creature. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna try to, like, go for it. to four. Well, five, but... Okay. Hopefully the last card is not natural order. And they're just, like, setting up to kill us next turn. Oh, no. No, that doesn't do anything, opponent. They have to be elves. That does something. That does something, for sure. Just a bit. Does a little bit of something. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if we did wait a turn. Obviously, it would have made it more capable for us, but, like, did they have a kill? Usually you can't give elves three, four turns, you know? Damn! This is a pretty good matchup for us, too. We tend to win game one, but it's certainly losable. Maybe we don't want four grids, but the main way we lose this is Mind Break Trap. I do have discard sometimes. Grape Shot's pretty good. Um, Chandra's good and bad, right?
try this. I want ways to be able to kill Oof, but I don't want to go too crazy. Like I said, I want the grids. Mind break trap is a bitch. At the same time, if I have a turn one without a grid, I don't know. If I have to blow my entire hand to do it... Like, if I have to blow my entire hand and I have a... more... Uh, not quite as vulnerable line for a turn two, I'll probably take that. So it's always a shame to take a pretty good matchup and then just get blown out by Mind Break Trap, you know? Huh. A little too awkward for me. This is pretty good. It's awkward, but I think we get rid of Rite of Flame. Because, like, if we bottom song and keep the Rite of Flames, right? Rite of Flame nets one, two, three mana total. But post medallion, song nets three on its own. So, we just have more mana this way. Hopefully they don't wind up with the Force of Vigor. What's nice about Horn and Force of Vigor is at least you can like flip all your cards in response. Discard. Yeah. Okay. There goes Bergy. You know what I didn't think of is... I did have a turn one horn, huh? That eats shit to force a vigor. Hopefully we can find some action. Even a Chandra would be fine. Not like this. natural order. I guess we can draw Chandra. Like our only out. Not like, it's literally our only out. They have lethal? They could. 
Or no, they'd be one short. <laughs> then Chandra wouldn't matter. Yep, we got a one. No, even if we draw Chandra, we just die. This could get us enough mana post Chandra if we draw Chandra right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Aw. Alright. That's funny, because we would have went off. We had just one more turn. Said Ignite came. Came a turn too late. 